Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Justin Lin here at Rehab and Revive Physical Therapy. I'm excited to catapult and spring off that massage gun vi review video that we shot back in November. Now, I've had significant time to play with this massage gun and I have a better understanding. And so we're gonna do something on shin splints. What we can do to prepare our body for safe use with this massage gun so I'm not ripping my skin off. Okay. You ready? Yep and making funny faces. So I think what important things is to understand what these heads are. And, and I'll explain it in my point of view. It's a soft head. It's for anywhere you would use an actual thumb. It doesn't necessarily feel like a thumb to me, but I'll kind of explain it in my perspective. And you got the flat head for any body part, it says. And the bullet head, uh, which is like a deep trigger tissue. What we want to do is we got the shin area. A lot of us runners, uh, people with flat feet, it's important to know that shin splint's all about fascia and the fascia getting tight and different scar tissues that, that can be created. So you could either have it on top here or you can have it on the inside. So we'll kind of explore both. But we've got our ached away pro. I've learned to just definitely appreciate this a little bit more, especially while I'm watching Netflix or something like that. So what I think here, a lot of people need to understand kind of the basic anatomy. You've got your posterior tib over here, tibialis muscle, and your anterior tibialis muscle. And you've got all these different muscles. Think of it as thirds. You have your posterior tibialis, your soleus muscle, and then your calf, your gastroc muscle. Sometimes they get stuck because we just have repeatedly beat up our ankle or whatnot, but you want to work the muscle fibers the way they go. So I think it's good for a couple minutes to kind of warm up our body because it doesn't have penetrate with as much depth. This doesn't have as much depth as let's say this one where it's really jamming into you. What I want to do is if you want to make this stronger, let's say right here, or make this less tight, you want to go towards the ankle. This is one proprioceptive way to think about it. I'll show you what happens next. So I've basically deactivated this muscle. Look. But if you want to make it stronger, you go this way. If I basically shorten the muscle this way, look at that. Can't even move it. It just takes maybe at least one stroke this way or two strokes. You know, I'm not, I can't fake this, but. So if I go this way, this property here of really going from Attachment to insertion is what we call it. Go ahead and check that here, Griffin. Yep, okay, good, right? Pretty firm, right? No doubt. And then I'm gonna go the other way. Just a couple of these. Now check that out. Uh, like, I'm trying my best, right? It's significantly weaker. So, yes. So what I want you to know is what we have to do in these understanding these properties of these muscles. So. Technically, a lot of times, like I said, this is, you need to deactivate this one. So do this for a couple minutes or so. And I want to deactivate that. But you want to activate the right one. So what's that one? It's going to actually be this one. So you want to go this way. This is the soleus muscle. That's the muscle that should absorb the brunt of your shin splints. We'll talk about the anterior tibialis shin splint in a minute but this is what you're gonna have to do. You wanna prep that body. And this one, your gastroc, also most of the time is pretty tight, so you're gonna go this way. You wanna wake up one of these three muscles. So you don't just wanna go like this, aimless, right? You know, like I said, I wanna feel it here in this strip. So I'm just gonna do that. Boom, boom. And now, like I said, it doesn't penetrate that deep. And then you can, it's much better. So now we're gonna, slip this on, get the flat head going. I want to deactivate this muscle, activate this muscle, deactivate this muscle. Boom. Right here. And this gets it a little deeper. I would say it probably penetrates another millimeter and a half. So you don't want to go this way. Like I said, you want to have a strategic plan. All those people out there, Dr. Joe, Dr. Brad and Bob, they don't really talk about this. I'm giving you the real stuff. You got the right stuff, baby. And then so now you want to go up for the soleus. It's so a little bit more strategic planning, just loosening up muscles. Loosen up the right muscles, tighten up the other ones. So you can see that's pretty firm. And then I want to deactivate this one. Overused all the time. So understanding anatomy is going to be the key. It's a little bit more intentional use. Boom. That's still pretty solid. How much, how much stronger is that? Oh, it's hard. 
It's hard, right? So now you get to the deep stuff, of course. So this one's probably gonna get you like almost close to a centimeter deep. Um, so let's get this guy going. And so obviously you wanna be cautious. So I actually just kind of hold my thumb down and guide it. Uh, so you can see if you watch my first video, I had no clue what I was doing. And uh, we'll turn this on. Oh. Just remember, that's our, that's our, our, our slogan. We heal smarter, not harder. I think I was working hard on that one. And then now you want to go up for the soleus. So for you runners out there, boy, you're going to love this. You're going to feel so much stronger. I got a chance to test it myself uh, at home before we shot this video. So, And then once again, you want to go right through here for the other ones. So have a strategic plan of what, what the hell you're doing. All right, let's see. Oh, my gosh. Check this out, Griffin. I'm not even trying. I, 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 like he, he can see me. I'm not even breaking a sweat. He's breaking the sweat. Right? Dang, that's awesome, right? This, oh, I love it. Okay. So if you got the same thing here, here's the problem. We got a few muscles. Let me kind of change my angle here. Make sure I don't fall off this table. So you got the anterior tip. But once again, you got a little bit of this different muscle, which is actually a stabilizing uh, muscle for your feet, your toes. This is important to free up. I would say a lot of times, yeah, you want, you want to think about deactivating this, but actually I don't believe that. So I'm actually going to want to stimulate this, unstimulate this, and unstimulate this. So stimulate, which is me going, you know, this way, unstimulate going this way. So this will be significant because you just saw Griffin uh, test that, but if I unstimulated this one, what's going to happen? Should I be stronger? Let's just test this out. Should I be stronger or should I be weaker? So let's just go back to this, um, this one. This will be real interesting. So initially, this is still strong, right? I didn't really change anything, but let's, let's go ahead and do what you would think. You, wanna, you would go, oh yeah, I want to unstimulate or inhibit this. So, all right. So you can, like I said, you want to avoid that. Good. So let's check that out here. Yeah, Griffin, check this out. All right? I'm trying really hard. You almost threw me off the table. So that's not what we want. See, my hypothesis was quick. It's because I know what muscles need to work, the biomechanics. That's, that's how we heal smarter. So let's go back on it. So let's get that back because I, I don't want to be running like all weird. Imagine that. You deactivate those muscles, then you go for a run. Well, guess what? You're only setting yourself up for breakdown. What the hell? So let's go ahead and do that. And then I want to deactivate these guys. Deactivate these guys. So I just, I don't go up and down. Like I said, those of you just tuning in right now. Understanding what muscles you're using. And this one, I'm just kind of going with the calf. So just understanding that, boom. All right, let's see how that turned out. Yep, still pretty good. Now we'll go through the same process, use the flathead one. So, once again, remember, I want to stimulate up, not down. Shorten the muscle. You think it's the opposite. I would say the posterior tip is the one you have to deactivate. This one you want to deactivate. Doesn't have to take long. Boy, it's all about facilitating this. Bam, 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 bam. There we go. All right. Getting excited about this. Getting, oh, man, back. It's really good. Solid. All right. So, once again, so now we're going to bring this up. Get that anterior tip. So, know your anatomy. Then you're going to go down. No one's talking about this, but like I said, this one, whoa, right there. That's that, that toe one, always stimulated. And then over here. Get that calf, outline it. There we go. Griffin, check this out. Try to keep going. He might even be able to do a dip on my ankle. Look at that, right? It's significantly stronger, right? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm really excited to show you guys all this stuff because all the different muscles are gonna, you're gonna need to know what the heck you're doing. You know, all those other guys out there, they don't know their stuff. I know my stuff, so check that out. Hopefully you like what we're doing. 
Uh, definitely love your feedback. I would love to know, do this before your run, see how that feels, see if it makes a difference. And we love to put out more information and we want you to be included in it. So subscribe to our channel and leave a like if you like this video. I'm Dr. Lin. Remember, we heal smarter, not harder.